Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. actually about to head out i'm actually going to the weekend concert which is today at 6 30 so it is 6 14 obviously nobody gets to a concert like dead on time because obviously he's not coming out at 6 30 so me and my sisters are going so i think we're going to get down there around like 7 7 30 um i'm really excited because y'all i'm like literally obsessed with the album that he dropped this year don fm if you have not listened to that album you missing out you missing out you missing out i'm gonna drop over here like what i'm wearing nothing too crazy just some um sandals shirt is from shein you guys have seen me wear this shirt before uh jeans from fashion nova um all my jewelry i think is from shein as well and then my bag is from aldo but yeah i'm excited i'm excited to actually go to this concert i feel like um i've been really getting back in the mode of wanting to go to concerts and things like that and obviously since the world is kind of at a normal excluding monkey pox and all that um yeah i feel like it's like perfect time to do it so um obviously i want to take you guys along with me um and i will check back in with you guys most likely tomorrow because i am off work tomorrow um so yeah we'll probably like run some more little errands and things like that and i will talk to you guys on friday I just have to say i am literally a weekend fan at this point like concert was so freaking good like 
so freaking good y'all like not only did he play like songs from a new album but he just played like all his goodies like all of all of his hits which he has a lot of them i highly recommend if you're in a city where he's coming go buy that ticket go buy that ticket you will not regret it you will not regret it but like i said today is friday um i'm off today our company gives us these like wellness days which is basically kind of like self-care day you get the whole day off to just like you know have a self-care day and you know make sure your wellness is in check um so for me i'm just gonna go and actually um run like some errands and things like that um and I'm gonna take y'all along, you know, take it along with me on my little earrings that I'm gonna be running today. Um, Cause I'm not, I'm not actually doing anything unless something like just pops up that I end up doing like randomly. But um, yeah, so let's hit these streets and see what comes our way. All right. I just saw I went to Lennox, went to the Alpha store. I literally needed to um, get me some new AirPods because I lost my AirPods. If y'all don't remember, I lost my AirPods when I went to um, Vegas slash like Grand Canyon and all of that. Literally, like right walking out of the airport, one fell out. So I had one left, but finally went to go. Um, buy them again and now i'm actually about to go and um um go pick up my mom and go hang out with her for a little bit um i don't know what we're gonna do i'm i'm, I'm assuming we're probably gonna go we're probably gonna go and eat and then i may go to the store with her and do like some of the little errands with her also this is a um grande vanilla um cold brew so just in case anybody's wondering but yeah i just wanted to check back in with y'all just arrived at this place called Cloudland um, Vineyard Winery. There's music in the background. I hope you guys can hear me. But yeah, um, we just came up here. Honestly, I, I've never heard of this place. I literally just Googled it while we were on the road and yeah. Um, but I would highly recommend coming up here. It's really a vibe. It's super chill. Um, they've only been open like two years. Wine was good. We had like a little charcuterie board um yeah so we're just we've been vibing up here for a good little set i think we're gonna probably go possibly go get hold on i think we're gonna um go and get dinner possibly after this because we had like a bottle we had like a glass of rose and then we ended up buying like a bottle of rose so i think we're gonna go 
uh, find like a restaurant to eat. Yeah, but if you are in the Atlanta area, especially if you're like closer in like the Beaufort area, I would definitely, you know, try out this little winery. It's super chill, laid back, cute. I'm gonna see y'all whenever we get to like a restaurant or whatever. Um, but yeah. Your heart beats for me, girl, I hear the sound, and it only gets better. Hey. It started off with the kiss, uh -huh. yeah. never expecting this, uh -huh. now I'm in broken with my addiction. Just ordered me Starbucks and I ordered a matcha, right? Matcha. Now look at this. I haven't drank any, by the way. Can you see? Look, it's got a little thing still on it. Why is it not filled up? Why is it not filled all the way up? Starbucks, come on. How how much would it have taken to just fill all of this up? This isn't a full grande. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. And of course I got my little egg white bite. I'm telling y'all, so freaking good. I know some people be like, you know what? Oh, you know what? I'm, <laughs> they didn't even give me the sriracha sauce. And that's what makes, that's what makes these. You gotta have a sriracha sauce. Luckily I have sriracha sauce back there. But anyway, y'all see I got my AirPods and I, I'm so, I'm so happy. I went and got those things yesterday instead of just like being super lazy. Like Lennox is literally right there. Could have been a, I could have been gone and got those or I could have ordered them a long time ago. But anyway, so happy to have these back. But anyway, it's Saturday. Um, Y'all saw yesterday, went to the little winery. Literally, like I said, it was so just like random. I just looked up wineries. That was like the closest one to like where my mom stays. Cute little winery. Definitely will be going back. Um. Y'all saw we had like a little charcuterie board and there was this little chicken that was out there. I'm like, this chicken. Honestly, in the beginning, I was kind of annoyed with the chicken, but then in the end, I actually started to like the chicken. Like, yeah. Um, but it was a fun, fun, fun little day with me and my mom, seriously. We went there, then afterwards, y'all saw we went to a little Mexican restaurant, which is like right up the street from that place. Um, so I love like doing like little things like that with my mom, just making like a little memory um but yeah today actually i was going to make a charcuterie board like believe it or not like i had actually planned to do that because back in 2019 2020 your girl was making charcuterie boards like literally every single freaking day um but i haven't i never made one on my channel i made one on the channel me and my sister had um but I never made one on this one, so I was gonna like actually do that and like snack on like a charcuterie board today. I don't know, I may still do it, but I may I may hold off until maybe next week since I literally ate off a charcuterie board yesterday. Um, but we're gonna play today by ear. I must eat my food, drink half of my matcha since it's only, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye. As you guys can see, I went over to Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles is literally right across the street from my house. And I wanted to just do something a little different. I kind of wanted to make like a quiet day. I feel like the last two days have been like, y'all already know what they've been like. Um, but I wanted just a quiet day today. So I went over there, explored a little bit, and I ran across this um, John Michael Basquiat book. It's actually a, it's actually kind of like a book with him and a photographer named Lee Afi. Um, for those that, that don't know, like Basquiat is like a really big artist. He was a really big artist in the 80s, died tragically and everything like that. Okay, so this is the book right here. Um, so this is basically just about Basquiat and Yafi's like rare footage through like Japan, Thailand, and Switzerland. And as you can see, it's from 1983 through 1986. 
and as you can see like this is Basquiat and he's like really famous for like these type of paintings and these paintings go for like millions of dollars like really but yeah had to have it and then I also ended up buying Andy Warhol's diaries you guys may have heard of this like on the Netflix show because Andy Warhol has like a like what is it like a six part documentary and it's basically just diary entries you know from Andy Warhol um, up until he died actually like right up until he died I wanted this too because I really I watched the documentary on Netflix and I got really into it and so I really want to actually like just read more entries you know because obviously they had to limit what they could put in it so yeah so this is what I ended up buying today at Barnes and Nobles and I also went to the Publix that's right next to it got some rosé and you know got a little meant to garnish it to make it look super cute i always love making me a cute little drink yeah know. so yeah y'all know i love making me like a cute little drink um just to make it feel fancy like i'm at a restaurant or something because i'm not going out tonight um but i did want to hop on here and close up the vlog because i'm literally just going to be chilling for the rest of the day and i'm not doing anything tomorrow and you guys will see this actually when you guys are seeing it right now on Sunday which is tomorrow anyway but just want to say thank you guys for sharing another weekend with me like always I will see you guys next weekend like always it's the date baby I hope you guys have a great week and bye